Today we're in the Peak District, a place called Lady Bow Reservoir. We're parked at the side of the road, free parking. We're going to walk up to Winstone Lead Tor and make it around. So we head forward, cross over the road just before the bridge, take the right turn uphill just before the bus stop. Just before we start making our way slightly uphill, let's give you a shot to the left hand side. Walk forward, a couple of hundred yards, you'll see a gated road there. We turn immediate right, slightly uphill. Signpost says Cutthroat Bridge, and there's the view. So we're slowly making our way uphill, past one or two houses. As we pass Dale End Cottage, we get a chance to take a quick shot over one part of the reservoir. Just keep heading forward along the track. You'll go through a gate. You're walking with a taxi driver today. Just a bit hazy today in the squirrel there. See that squirrel? 20 or 30 feet further on, you're more or less at the end of the last building. Look to your left hand side. Signpost says Windstone Lee Tor. We turn left there, uphill. We keep heading forward, following the path of the pylons for a short way. We head forward on the inside of the wall in the fence. It's the 20th of May today. We're going slightly downhill now through a gate. We're steadily making our way uphill slightly now. It's just a bit hazy today. That's looking to our left. And again, we can hear a cuckoo, but only very faint. We're steadily following the wall uphill. There's your cuckoo. We can hear the cuckoo, we think we can see it, so let's zoom in. Can you see top of them trees there? We're gonna keep zooming just to let you see that this is a real shot. And again, well, we're going in now. That's a cuckoo. Twentieth of May, Lady Bow Reservoir. Just grooming his feathers or her feathers there. That is absolutely fantastic because we think there's a massive decline in the cuckoo population. This is only the third we've got on film. And to find a cuckoo, that's pretty good, is that? But yesterday we could hear one when we were at the other side filming. We've got him here, or oh, another one. Well, we're going to leave that for now. As we've gone up a bit higher trying to get a closer shot, he's moved, but we can still hear him. Sun's starting to come out now. We've left the cuckoo, or should I say, he's left us. We're bearing off slightly right, uphill. You'll come to the end of the wall. You bear slightly right there, uphill. We've made it to the brow. There's like a crossroad of paths. That's looking at the other side. Like I say, it's a bit hazy. We had a little bit of rain last night, but it's very warm and muggy, so the picture quality might not be too good. That's looking back. Path on your left hand side is where we've come up. There's a path leading off onto your right. It says Bridleway. We're taking the path just to the right hand side of the Bridleway that takes us to Winstone Lee Tor. Before we head towards the Tor, we take a bit of time just filming up the top here. That's looking back to our left. We'll just keep panning round. Just a tiny bit of breeze, but it's quite warm today. We're just hoping to miss the thunderstorms if we can.
And if we look to our right hand side, that's where we'll be going up there. You can see the start of the path at the bottom. About 30 feet from us, there's a grouse. Don't seem too bothered, but we're keeping as quiet as we can. Well, he's just posing on for us there. As we make our way uphill, that's just looking back. And where them people are there, that's your viewpoint for taking a few pictures. Tiny little bird there, look on the rock, on the lower rock now. We've just made our way onto the top, it's not far, a couple hundred yards. You think you have a good picture down below, you get up top, there's always a better one. So we're just taking one or two quick shots before we move off. So we turn slightly right, you can see the path there, look. Heading towards the rocks in the distance. In front of us, on the path, can you see right in the middle of my picture there, right on the skyline. We're going to head towards him now. Well, we can't get much closer to him again, about 20 feet off. And he's not bothered, or she's not bothered. Can you see that little grouse chick? Mother, they're with chicks. Well, wow, that's unbelievable. And this is live. Oh, this is incredible. We're about 100 feet away. Don't get any closer. Well, these are fantastic shots. In middle at Moors or middle at should I say Peak District and we've got baby grouse chicks another one there look we don't know how many she has but uh, another one keeps darting out every now and again well this has made our day today well worth coming to Peak District just to see this little bit we just keep heading forward Keep our eye open for some more. And that's the side of the rocks I showed you earlier. In front of us is the path. That's to your left. And that's to your left again. We've got another grouse with chicks here. She'll only be 20 feet away. But uh, she's well camouflaged. Oh, you can see chick there, look. These can't be a day old. You can see a head there, look, just keep the lookout for a chicks. She's gone down. No. She's so well camouflaged, we can only see her head now. The chicks, oh, I can see one chick.
she's calling to them. They're going to her, look. Yeah. There's the male. Well, we'll leave them for now. We don't want to disturb them. They're only a day old, are these? Well, that's two lots. That's fantastic. We just head forward another couple hundred yards. We can see the start of the line of grouse butts on our right. Cairn on our left. We turn left there, downhill. The public footpath sign says to Derwent, and you can't miss that because it's just down below. I was going to say, you've got the you with a little lamb, but she's got two of them on our right hand side as we head downhill. And there's a shot of our right hand side. Them rocks just there that we showed you earlier are for another day. As we make our way downhill, you can see the rock formations on the skyline. And again, just slightly further on, as you head downhill, you'll see a cairn. And road bears off to your right. We just keep heading downhill till we meet the wall. So at the gate, we turn left, heading forward towards the corner of the trees. Then we look behind us onto the skyline, just above the gate. Just looks like giant clams from here. Well, we'll keep going. That's looking to our left. And that's the top there where we found the grouse chicks. And as we walk a bit further on our right hand side, looks like we've got a look out there. We've made our way to the wood, we go through the gate and just follow the wall downhill towards the reservoir. Well, we're getting down towards the bottom now. We're not far from the reservoir now, we head forward through the gate. Just before we go through the gate, that's the shot to our left hand side. We've just walked through the gate, that's the view in front of us. If you look on the hill, you can see in the middle of the wall and the trees, there's like an old hidden farmhouse there. Looks pretty good. We make our way through another gate and it looks like we walk through the middle of the buildings as we head down towards the reservoir. As we make our way forward, we see we cross over a little stream. It's just out the wind. Great spot for a cup of tea. This is where we sat, just next to the little stream. We've seen like a bird going into them ferns there. And we're just hoping it's a nest. So we'll have a cup of tea here and see if he comes out or... There, 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 look, the tip there. Can you see it? Middle of my camera. So we think she's got a nest. We're just sat having a cup of tea here. I think it's a little, I don't know, tiny little blue tit. She's gone off again. She knows we're here, but I think she'll be back. Just down below us, <laughs> we did have a little bird bathing, but he's gone. He's back. Oh, somebody coming on the bike. Oh, I hope we got him there. He might be back. We'll be patient. The little blue tick keeps coming back, but we haven't been fast enough to film him. But we're sure he's a nest at back of there.
We've had our cup of tea, so we're going to keep going. There's one or two dark clouds about. As we cross over, let's have a quick shot. We make our way from the little stream up to the buildings. We just look to our left and you can see the wall and the path that we came down on. It's beautiful, is this? And let's just pan it round a bit. We keep going. As you go through the gate, the first building looks like it's a shelter because you can see there, look, there's a seat. As you make your way to the next gate, just look above the door on your left. 1647 LG. I don't know what LG means, but there we are. So we just follow the path down to the reservoir. So at the bottom there, you can keep walking straight on, but we're turning left. Just before we go through the gate, we look to our left hand side and we can see the bridge and that's our finish. We're told there's a load of bluebells along there. So let's go and have a look. So we're following the path up through the trees. We just keep heading forward. As we walk along, we look down to the water and there we can see some baby goslings. They look maybe 10 days, a couple of weeks old, but some smaller ones took right, so let's have a look. No, they're maybe the same age. I can see some smaller ones, I've looked at right again. Yeah, they're not very old. When we look to the other side of the hedge, we see there's a lot more. Well, the sun shines out this afternoon and it's given us a chance to take one or two shots at the far side of the lake. We've got a robin there, look, sat on the fence at far side at post. You can see his tail and his beak. There he goes down to the next one. He's there just looking for insects in field, diving down and then coming back up. He looks as like if he's got something in his mouth there, if you look. He's down again. There he is again, he's got his back to us. See, he's got, he's got something in his mouth. He's off. We just keep heading forward through the gate. Robin's flown off. We're more or less down onto the water now. I can see a baby duck there. As you can see, we have a biker or two. I don't know if you can see them baby ducks in the water. Mother's there swimming about, feeding them. We've got eight baby ducks here. Can't be more than a day or two old. We're just stood about, what, 10 foot? up from them. They're trying to catch the flies. There's plenty of midges in that on the water. Look at them. There they are jumping up. Oh, there's like a, there's like a swarm of, of midges there, swarm of them. And Mother Duck has led them into them and they're there just grabbing them. Yeah, you can see that that is, you can see all the little white wings there. Ducks are having a field day there, baby ducks. There's plenty of wildlife on this walk. All them white bits are flies. Just like snow. And even mothers there look joining in on your on your on your right. Well, this is fantastic. It's just a swarm just hanging over the, hanging over the water.
Well, this is a bit of incredible footage. They're only feet away from us, yet they're not bothered. Well, we're going to leave that for now. What a great day. We just keep heading forward on the tarmac track, through the trees. We're about 50 foot from the water. Walk forward three or four minutes. And as you walk round the corner, you're into the bluebells. What a fantastic place this is. Okay. Hello. And the sun's coming out now. Everywhere you look, on your left hand side and on your right, there's loads. As you can see everywhere you look, at the moment, it's covered with bluebells. The sun just keeps toying with us and going in and coming out. But uh, what a spectacle, it's unbelievable. We're just filming at random, looking for the odd white one, but we haven't seen one yet. We've just been told that there's a lot more further on, so we'll see. Well, all we found is one tiny little white one, but he'll do. And there he is. We're still on the track. We keep going. We can see there's a seat in front of us. As we come out of the wood, we have a quick look back. We just walk forward 100 yards. On our right hand side, we've got four baby geese there just messing about. All we have to do is make our way down towards the bridge, turn left and we're back to our car. Just before we go to our car, that's just looking back. We hope you've enjoyed our walk in the Peak District, Lady Bower Reservoir and all the wildlife we've found. You've been walking with a taxi driver today.